Hi. Well, I've decided to share with you my personal experiences that I'm currently passing through. For those of you who don't know me, I have a personal passion to want to explore and discover the divine truth about how life works. So I'm interested in this particular kind of picture that shows the physical body, the heart, the etheric body, the spirit body, mental body, the astral body, the soul, and its composition. So I'm interested in exploring and sharing how this works with myself. And I'm oftentimes just telling you about what I'm going through. But this time I wanted to share with you more specifically things that are happening to me. Some of you have been around for decades and following me go through this process and I'm exploring it. So I've committed myself to a three year journey of exploring how to circulate life force in my body, through my body, for personal consciousness reasons, health reasons, and also the desire to show other people how it might be possible to do the same thing. So I'm doing this for personal reasons because I want to. And I'm engaged in it every day, virtually all day long, night long. Yes, I'm engaged in it. I want to share with you my new processes that are coming up for me. So at the start of the equinox in September, it for me starts the beginning of the year. So three years, starting in September, each year being slightly different, I'm aspiring to, by the end of the third year going into the fourth year, where it becomes an opportunity to exchange life force between friends. A friend is somebody that you can give and receive feelings, attention, knowledge, wisdom. You can actually share with someone. I'm planning on doing that with a small group of friends. If you want to be involved in some way, that's entirely up to you. You don't need to do anything or sign up for anything or pay me anything. I'm going to do this with or without you. Now, if you come along and you practice some of these, you get a chance to experiment. So let me just show you a graphic that explains more of this graphic and why I'm doing some of the things I'm doing. Let me just grab that image. This is the same basic image as you saw before. All the colors of going around, that's basically the spirit body, emotional body, mental body. It's called lots of things. The largest part of this is the soul, sometimes referred to as the astral body. When it gets down closer to the physical body, it's commonly called the etheric body. So there are layers of density. Now for me, in order to be able to occupy more of the life force within myself and consciousness, I want to learn how to take that Taurus energy up through my physical body and vitalize all of my inner beings and then to spiritualize my organs meaning the spleen, the heart, the pericardium, thymus, brain, central nervous system, liver, kidney, and you name it, all the way through the physical body, those organs are designed to be sensing instruments of my capacity to feel and embody my own soul. That's how I see it. Now, in order to do that, you'll see that you see these triangles and you see the circles inside of it. These are basically instruments inside of me. For this, for those of you who want to think of it, this is also the chakra system. 
for me, this entire system of mechanical circulation relates to glands, organs, and body systems, and they also relate to the entire family tree. So for almost 20 years, I tried one approach, had lots of experiences, but found out later it wasn't exactly the right approach, meaning I was attempting to circulate from the beginning of the masculine called the first son or one boy. So the chakra system up the front of the body is masculine. Down the back of the body, it's feminine. So it's the long hair of the woman down the back ascending up the front and the front. It's a circulation of life force. So the goal is to identify each one of these and its corresponding grandmother or grandfather and examine what the contributions are from in that ancestry that might in some way or another be embedded in my energy to cause an obstruction to the circulation of this life force. And most of those up there, I didn't put them there. They were put there by my ancestry, delivered to me because my mother and father had sex whether they really wanted to or not, whether they wanted a kid or not, it has an effect. So I'm learning how to be able to go to each one of these locations and actually experience the feelings I'm denying. Now you see these rings around the body? We all have them. Guess what's occupying these rings? False belief systems, false belief systems, self-image issues, sadness, grief, all kinds of things are embedded. But guess what else is embedded here? Your facade, your persona, your mask. How many masks do we have? How many forms of facade do we have? Well, many. I have a facade when I meet a woman. I have a facade when I meet an old man or a young man. I have a facade when I meet a dog. I have a facade when I think about a bear. I have a different facade with a minister versus a, an airplane pilot. I have a different facade in private as I do in public. We are filled with rotating facades. Here's the problem. You can't really change the life force running through the body until you change the facades. So before you do that, why would you do it? There has to be a purpose and intention and so on. So I was gonna share with you what's going on for me because in September, without really communicating with many people, as you could tell, I opened up and worked on the very first layer of the facades and the very first entry point, according to the paradigm I'm using now, the entry point is sunset or the first month of autumn. Even if you're in the southern hemisphere, it's the first month of autumn, your autumn, not mine. It is sunset in the southern hemisphere, not my sunset. It's your sunset. So this whole process is a 24-hour clock. This whole process of circulating, this is a one-month clock. Yes, it's one breath, too. And it's one season. And it's one year. And it's one lifetime. I want to occupy this sucker. I want to learn how to be inside of me experiencing the authenticity of my own actual soul. Whether you believe in soul or not doesn't matter to me. I'm sure most of you do. But how to access it, how to become it. And some of it is not really easy, as you can tell, right? So after spending a month, all the hours of the day, focused on one place called two girl. Two girl corresponds to mother's mother. That's a feminine step. It also corresponds to, interesting enough, 
the area right behind the back of the heart or the bottom of the heart. I want to explain why it's there and not down in the lower areas for now. But we'll talk about how to enter into the capacity to feel. Now, if I want to live, I need to be able to, like a bicycle pump, keep opening up my capacity to feel because really in the long run, I want to be able to receive divine inspiration into my soul to spiritualize my consciousness and my physical body. But here's the problem. I can't receive from the divine level into a facade. Sorry, you can't receive love into a facade. So what do people normally do? I'm going to, quote, love you with my facade into your facade and this is called a codependent, and I'm realizing how much my relationships have been and are part of a codependent exchange of my facade for your facade for other reasons. But we won't go into all the issues just about facade, but I want to give you some clues about things you might consider. Practice your two girl. The two girl is the sincere desire to want to feel myself. You can call yourself what you want, authentic, true self, higher self, soul. You can call yourself God if you want. Whatever you want to call, I sincerely want to know the truth about who I am, what I am. That's a two-girl alone beginning. Underscore the word alone because that singularity in physics is a black hole from the unborn spirit world into matter. I know that's kind of weird. The soul, before it came into matter, was in the spirit world and then used a type of singularity to be born through the body of their mother. And oddly enough, in order to be able to progress, you need to enter the body of the feminine. What does that mean? No, you can't go back to your mother. And no, you can't do this by your girlfriend or your whatever. No, it's not entering the body of anyone else. It's entering the body of your own soul by the sincere desire to want to feel the existence of your own soul. That produces a singularity that gives you a greater capacity when you're actually in yourself, not relating to anyone else, and you have a sincere desire to feel your own soul, then you can receive a little tiny drop of inspiration. Doesn't take much. The sincere desire to be in my heart, to feel my own soul. Tiny droplet comes to increase the capacity to feel. Then the moment that the self-image or the two girls starts to expand, it automatically hits a barrier. That barrier is a facade. So what I found is, it's very annoying, by the way, to realize how many facades I actually have. Yeah, I'm in one right now. We all are, all day long. We're in multiple facades. Every now and then we might touch on something true and actual, and maybe we have a moment of inspiration where we find ourselves in the zone or whatever it is. So I'm realizing how to feel me. Now, there's a lot more to this, but I don't want to take up too much of your time. But now I'm taking the first month called Two Girl Self, and merging it with the second month called four girl. Now, what that means, basically, the fourth chakra position in the back, four girl just happens to be, for those of you who don't know, mothers, mothers, mother. It's three women in a row. Yes, sorry. It's about your mother, her mother, and your great-grandmother. 
self, and great-grandmother. Now, that also means, to hang on to it just for a second, sunset into bedtime. Six to eight, sunset. Mother's mother. Eight to ten. We usually have a tendency to wash the kids and give them their baths and clean them up with the water and tell your kids, you're going down. Well, I used to tell my kids that, look, I don't care whether you want or not, I'm tired, you're going down. So I'm sorry. You wash them, you brush the teeth, you lay them down. They go to bed by 7.30, 8 o'clock, and you want to get a little personal time. Between 8 and 10 is another form of singularity where you're actually leaving your physical body at night and for a third of your life, roughly, you're sleeping, roughly. For a third of your life, you're learning how to die. What? No, I, a third of your life, you're learning how to leave the material world and enter the higher world. I know that sounds strange. You're learning how to let go, change, metamorphosis, dark night of the soul. Oh, it's so scary. It's so scary. And you learn to go through that process and you're going into six girl or the light. You can see the stars. No, okay, it's not a six girl month. I'm just sharing with you my experience of the singularity of two girl. It has startled me how much is there I still need to process. I've been doing these things for decades. And I try lots of remedies and flower essences and homeopathy and acupuncture and ayahuasca this and do that and you know, breath work. Yes. I won't even tell you all the things I've actually tried. So now I'm trying something new to learn how to be in harmony with the design of creation 24 hours a day, mirrored by the cycles and seasons of nature and mirrored to the inside organs and glands of my body. I want my inner sensation to be in harmony with my outer world. Maybe that's a little too much. I don't know. It's not for me because I can tell it's actually working for me. Some of this stuff is not easy. You go in there and start to drill around about the reasons why you don't feel and you find numbness, you find despair, you find sadness, you find grief, you find hopelessness. And there is a way to give it to the four girls. The four girl is the ability to be able to let go, receive, change, caterpillar into butterfly, how to learn to be able to do something I'm not good at, giving and receiving. Yeah, God, I'm not good at it. Now, what I see very clearly is in order for me to be able to do these upper gates, you cannot do the upper gates alone. You can't just climb the ladder all by yourself into the higher levels and go, yeah, God, gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, I tried that. Okay, it did work part of the time because they showed me where you needed to go is the bottom of the ladder first. You need to go take care of your personal will issues, your survival issues, your family issues, Okay, not necessary to go through the ladder of all of that, but I've also found out that in order to make progress up to the heart, I need to be able to give and receive love. Not everybody would like to say, oh, I'm loving. I want unconditional love. Oh, I'm so loving. I love her. No, not me. The truth was, I didn't like anybody because they're all crazy. 
they do cruel things to each other and their kids. And okay, okay, I won't whine about that. I need to learn to give and receive just at least a few friends. Because every time I give and every time I receive from a friend, my degree rises, their degree rises, our degree rises. We can, as a group, learn to give and receive and raise the consciousness of the family we occupy, the community we live in, even the country of our origin and our race and our culture and the planet well, we won't keep going, but yeah, that's true too. So how do we actually do this? That's what I'm learning. I'm seeing the steps, how to make it from one step to the next. And every time I start to go up, it pushes me back down to number one. Number two, all of my false belief systems about will, family, control, passion, purpose, so all of these, if you will, not that they're lower, these lower chakra systems, I need to learn how to occupy all of this, to, to occupy all of this for healthy reasons, whether it's self-survival, money, or sex. I need to be able to look at all of my facades and re-examine every one of those facades. Some of those facades, they have to do with you and my relationship to the outside world, other people, other countries. So the things I've learned is singularity. Learn to feel myself and keep learning to feel myself, who my own soul is. Personal responsibility to feel and to grow. I'm learning some really remarkably cool things then that first one has to fit into the next one. What's called the two girl has to fit into the four girl. 6 p.m. has to fit into 8 p.m. 8 p.m. has to fit into 10 p.m. And there is a sequence that goes from sunset to midnight that is the laundry machine of all unresolved emotional issues where you can learn how to feel, activate, understand, realize, forgive, receive, change. No, is it right away? No. It will take us years. Does it need to take that long? Maybe not. I haven't seen any actual shortcuts to the increase of consciousness. I think it actually takes time, commitment, and the desire to want to grow, to spiritualize my consciousness, my organs and glands and body systems, and to learn how to give and receive that in a service to others through compassion. This is where I am. This is what I'm going through. And the things I'm learning about the four girl one would take up another hour. I can't even begin to share with you all the things I'm learning about how to engage my functions of being able to accept, allow, open, have gratitude, the void. That's all in one place. The emptiness, the nothingness, the goth, the ugly, the dark, the horrible, the metamorphosis, the alchemical. It's all in one location. It's a powerful instrument. And I'm just on the first week of understanding that instrument. Give me another three weeks in combination with the singularity of my own soul, I'll have more to report. But this is where I am for now. And I just wanted to share my personal experiences of what it's doing to me, how it's affecting me. I'm really, really excited. And I'm also realizing that I'm really frustrated and angry. Sorry about that. I'm angry at authority, bureaucracy, government, aliens that want to control us, you name it, big banks, 
militaries. It's a personal issue. It's not them. I need to get over my personal issues about all of that. That just means a big job. But I don't know. Maybe you have less to get rid of than I do. Of course, be I'm older, so maybe I've done more damage in my life than you have. But work. This is not a competition. Maybe one day you and I might actually like each other and be friends. You want to be friends with a crazy guy? One of us is crazy, either me or you, or, well, never mind. Thank you for your ongoing, enduring support, the messages you send, the faith, the prayer, the gratitude that you express. Thanks for being there. Without you, well, I would be talking to the wall. See you soon.